This is my brutally honest review of The Sims 4 Backyard stuff. This is a part of a series where I review every single pack for The Sims 4, including all of the old ones. EA describes Backyard stuff as a pack about soaking up the fun, customizing the outdoor decor, and lounging in casual fashions. Taking a look at Cass, this pack actually comes with a few hairstyles that I think are good, except for the infamously cursed Justin Bieber hair, of course. Unfortunately, this pack is essentially based game 2.0. The theme literally is base game for the cast. The outfits look like they were made by a programming intern who spent the last few years locked away inside an untidy studio apartment. I'm beyond reasonable doubt that no effort or thought went into the cast here. Apart from a pair of skinny jeans, I actually don't rate any of this at all. Also, I know male sims get less, but this pack contained basically nothing for men and it is honestly embarrassing. Although I do give them a smidge of credit for giving child sims one unique hair mesh as usually they don't do anything unique for kids. They also got some t-shirts too and you have to get it where you can for any outfits underneath the teen life stage as they are a rarity although there isn't anything for toddlers. The Sims 4 Backyard Stuff cast is nightmare material. It's horrific. It's getting a 1 out of 10. Taking a look at built mode, at face value it comes with some stuff to decorate your back gardens with. We actually have a nice furniture set for decorating your back garden in some nice swatches. It also comes with a couple of okay decorative objects, although there are a few and far between. And needless to say, the random bush they decided to add to this pack is just as cursed as the Justin Bieber hair. I'm not quite sure what it's about. We got two water slides in the pack and both come with a nice variety of different swatches. To be honest, I'm quite unsure what the theme of the pack is, but everything is very bright and over the top, like out some kind of Dr. Seuss book. I can't 100% false it, because not all of it is totally horrific, but a lot of it just like the Cass's nightmare material. There are a couple of hidden gems that you'll appreciate as a builder maybe, but for the most part, it's very, very bland. It's very, very questionable, and you likely wouldn't dare touch most of the stuff here. The build mode is almost as horrific as the Cass. It's getting a three out of 10. So taking a look at the gameplay or lack thereof, the key selling point of the pack is the water slides feature. This is something that was integrated into the Generations pack of The Sims 3, by the way, but in The Sims 4 was upsold as a separate stuff pack. The water slides feature has your Sims slide down it in a fixed number of certain animations that dictate whether they slide down gracefully or terribly. They are just randomized animations. A mischievous Sim may add soap to the water slide, although it's just an aesthetic change, really. Despite supposing to be a key selling point of the pack, it's hardly fun gameplay at all and merely offers a plus one happy mootlets and I'll be honest with you I'm very much shocked that they didn't flesh any of this out at all. The pack also has a bird feeder. You can add bird seeds and fake birds will fly onto it and your sims will get a plus one mootlet from watching it. The pack has a picture that you can fill with juice or tea and guess what it gives your sims a plus one mootlet. The pack also comes with a wind chime. You can set this to high or low pitch and idly stand there for a couple of hours watching it and that will cause a plus one mootlet. They may also get an uncomfortable mootlet and wake up in the night if they sleep near it. The pack also comes with an unusable birdhouse for aesthetics only, although surprisingly, this one does not come with a plus one mootlet. This pack is unsufferably shallow and cash grabby. Seeming the whole point is backyard stuff as per the name, it merely offers a basic few objects which offer nothing more than a plus one mootlet. I do like to try and be constructive to EA so I don't just sound like a bitch. Like, you know, it's all nice said and done if I just, you know, completely destroy a pack. But I am going to be reasonable and I am going to tell EA what they should have done. That way, maybe they can improve if they can be bothered, which let's be honest, they probably can't. But, you know, in a perfect scenario, <laughs> in a parallel universe. Firstly, this pack needed to come with a lot more backyard activities. The whole point of the pack is backyard stuff, yet there's no stuff for your backyard to do. In The Sims 3 base game, we had a jungle gym and they could have included included this within this pack for kids. Clearly this pack is centered around like kids and family gameplay so it would have made a lot of sense. They also could have included a paddling pool although that crossovers with seasons and it's funny to me because the seasons pack actually contains more backyard activity stuff to do than this pack. It's a little bit weird but if they didn't want to include a paddling pool because that belongs in seasons they could have also used one of those like a giant outdoor connect four things. They could have used a 
sand pit. They could have included some other random kids activities. Like, you know, that swingy bat thing that's on like a pole. They could have included a brand new swing set for the game to bulk it out. They could have included a slide that can actually be used by kids and not just toddlers. They could have included a hammock for adults. They could have included like a giant Jenga set thing. I think in The Sims 4, they call it Don't Wake the Llama. They could have included like a giant Don't Wake the Llama thing. The list goes on and on and on for the kinds of outdoor activities one could actually do. For Built Mode 2, like they could have added a lot more backyard decorative objects, like hanging pretty lights and things. They could have added, you know, one of those swinging benches. They could have added one of those yard sale stands where you can sell stuff from your yard in The Sims 4. I'm surprised EA made the pack as bare and lifeless as it is. I do have low expectations from EA, but like this is even lower than low. I would be embarrassed to release this if I was Sims team, being brutally honest. The gameplay is shocking. It's horrific. It's getting a 1 out of 10. So my overall score for this pack is a 1.5 out of 10. I believe this may be the lowest score I've ever given any Sims 4 pack. I do not recommend this pack to anybody. All of it was tragic and cash grabby and lifeless and lazy. If it was possible to give this pack a minus score, I would. If you do want some backyard stuff, then just get the Seasons pack because it comes with a lot more. And of course, it's one of the better packs for The Sims 4 in terms of gameplay features. This is probably like one of the quickest Sims 4 pack reviews I've ever done. Like to actually record to give you like a bit of behind the scenes. Normally I spend like one to two hours recording like footage in order to review a pack. But for this pack, like I literally spent like five minutes recording it because <laughs> there was just nothing into it. If they just like removed the cast and called it a kit, like that would have been completely fine, but it's not a kit. So I am going to slate on EA, the billion dollar company for giving us, you know, the lack of backyard stuff stuff pack. If you appreciate my brutally honest reviews, I have a whole playlist of them and I update them so regularly. So feel free to check any of them out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.